Let's play! Unknown back with more Pandora's Tower. Now we get some answers. Ugh, I got the sniffles badly. I'm still sick. I can't stomach any more. I wouldn't be able to either. You're going to have to. Otherwise, things are only going to get worse. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the maiden at the Harvest Festival would end up forced to eat me? By the way, I'll try not to talk during uh, when they're talking, because, eh, you know, you're going to hear their voices a lot anyway. Alright. Questions, one by one. That's because of the curse, of course. Elena is cursed, if you haven't realized by now. What do you mean? What happened to the others? All sorts of things. Some fell into the hands of the Illyrian army and were dealt with. Dun dun dun. In other words, put to the blade. Different question. Reversing the changes. What have to do is to keep bringing beast flesh back from the towers. In other words, that gross stuff you saw last time. Joy. When Elena consumes the flesh, her changes will reverse. But this respite is only temporary. You know, it's kind of like uh, when you take medicine for a cold or a flu. Like what I have. <coughs> if you leave her as she is, the poor girl's transformation will continue unabated. In other words, she'll get turned into a monster. She kind of doesn't count as human at the moment, anyway. You've got a memory like a sieve. My name's Magda, and don't you forget it. That's right. If you haven't noticed her name at top. I told you this already. My people are the Vestra, and we are traveling merchants. You forgot already? Deary me, I introduced you. This old fellow is my boon companion. He's rather shy and retiring, I'm afraid. Oi, you up there. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> He's only referred as old man. And that's it. So this is to be my life? To be cooped up in here, eating foul flesh? Well, you know, could be worse. Must I learn to live like this? Can I not lift the curse? Sure, I mean, there's gotta be some magic hooby dooby dooby shaman ritual shit. Lifting the curse, you say? Well, now. Oh, do tell me, Master, please! Aaron, you must head back to the towers. Deep within each one. A master awaits you. In other words, in other words, a boss. Defeat these masters and return here with their flesh. Yeah, this is all about ripping off monster flesh. If Gross, ain't it? eats this flesh, <coughs> the mark on her back will fade, and she may be human once more. Woohoo! No! I won't hear of it! How can I ask Aaron to face such dangers for my sake? Because we already killed one monster in there, and else you'll turn into one? <laughs> of course. That's easier said than done. Oh, that reminds me. I have a little something for you. What is it? Outside the tower of well, the observatory. That's the chain we use to rip off the flesh. This belongs to my people. It's called the Ovraklas chain. What a fancy chain name. I like how it's blue. And now to take just a little of the blue, Mr. Duffy. What? It's for the sake. 
Ooh. Okay, he's gonna do some more fancy magic jam back. Or whatever. And his fingers are like scissors. You know what these two th make me think of? Um, in Fire Emblem, Shadow Dragon, or in the original, makes me think of uh, it says Nerna and Camius the Sable. Except they can actually be together. Wonder why you want an arm is bandaged. It seems you know what you're doing. It's so like Cassim from you know, Tom. Chained armed and ready. You will always be connected to a lane. Mm. Hello. Huh. Oh dude, look at those daisies behind her. That's awesome. save it. Yeah, I'll continue. Normally I don't like games with a timer. However, yeah, you can hunt her down with that. Alright, what you can see in the bottom left corner is a little timer. That's how long Elena has before she'll turn. You gotta get the flesh back before then and yada yada yada. Or she'll turn and, you know, game over. You're fucked. Uh, right there is their connection. Depending on that, on how big it is, um, it will actually change the ending of the game. I will see what I can do to get you the best ending, because that's the only ending I actually got. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I, I pre-did it, sorry. Alright. Mavda will be over here. Coming out with that old man. It's gonna be Keep heavy. Yourselves at home. You'll be here for a while. The observatory is basically home base. You can't afford to wander too far. The army will be looking for you. There's a reason for that. Without doubt. But you're safe here. This was the observatory the American <sighs> army used to keep an eye on the 13 towers. Bum, bum, bum. But no one uses it anymore. I doubt they look here. So there's already hints of the army originally being here. More of this will be explained beyond. I ain't gonna spoil anything because I love this game too much. Uptake, aren't you? Well, that's how things stand. <laughs> so it's time to open for business. Anyway, what we got here is uh, uh I'm gonna go through the basics here. Here we upgrade choose our weapons. We'll our need way. to find shit and able to do this. Uh, each time, <clears throat> as you can see right up there, there's a. There's a red orb, and then a couple of yellow orbs. Red orbs will count as special abilities your weapon can use that you can charge up. Yellow is just level-wise. Mavda will uh, tell you information on each tower when as you go through them, or little other things as you're going on. And able to survive, you're definitely going to need to create shit. More stuff will become available as the route. And if stuff gets damaged, or you find a damaged item, it will uh, be available here. 
And basically, she also cancels the shop. You buy shit, you sell shit. End of story. Uh, let's find about. The treetop tower was once used to grow plants for food. AKA the first dungeon. The followers of the way of Ios eat no meat, so it must have been an important place. I like how her mouth isn't moving. It's a fine irony that you've ended up going there in search of beast play, is it not? <laughs> Is there something else you want to so That's basically bad. If you've got hunks of flesh you don't need, I'll gladly take them off your hands. In other words, if you have any spare meat that uh, Elena does not eat, she'll buy them. You want to know what I'll do with it? Let's just say there's a market for all sorts of things. A.K.A. the black market. <laughs> In other words, it's gonna get yuck. I'm afraid I can't give you a good price for rotting meat. Before rushing off to another tower, come and see me with any flesh you might have. Basically, you can't really hold on to flesh and then and then uh, save it to give to Elena later. You have to get fresh flesh every time. <laughs> Any extras? Sell the Mavna. Sure Mavda, this, this is one of your only ways of income besides finding money in the towers. You don't need to give me anything oh, and every now and then, Mavda will give you little news things. <clears throat> A harvest of horror. Rumors have been running a riot ever since the chaos that erupted at the Harvest Festival. All of the rumors share a common thread, that a maiden became a beast. The singer of the festival was transformed into a beast that bared its fangs at the assembled throngs. The Illyrian army has said, and nothing uh, since announcing that no casualties had, had resulted. But they uh, are thra thought to be in hot pursuit of the maiden and her companions. What is the true story? I'll have it end there. Stop.